Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here looking at this week's property market. Now, as expected, the RBA did lift the cash rate to 1.35% during the week. That's the second consecutive month, though, that we have seen a 50-point cash rate increase. Now, already the RBA has come out and is signaling through the media that another 50-point cash rate increase could be coming through in August. As it stands, though, a cash rate sitting at 1.35%, that's adding an extra $665 onto a typical $1 million mortgage. But Australian consumers are being asked to brace for a 25-fold increase to the cash rate between May this year and December, which will be one of the fastest and largest cash rate increases in modern history. Now, this is coming from the RBA, who told all Australian consumers last year to go out there, spend big, borrow big, that they'd have your back with low monetary policy, that they wouldn't be lifting the cash rate until 2024. Well, guess what? The RBA Governor Philip Lowe has backflipped his language again. He's now telling Australians to stop spending in order to curb inflation and reduce or limit how fast they are lifting this cash rate. Now, we all knew the cash rate was coming, but that doesn't change the fact that when it lands, the media reacts, and most of the articles that came out during the week, they were countless, and they were all pretty bearish. As a result, we are seeing ongoing downward pressure on property prices, there is no question about it, and what we are seeing when that cash rate does get delivered, most of our agents in the market are speaking to our sellers and saying to them, we need to reduce prices by five, if not 10%, in order to attract and engage this quickly retreating buy pool. We can see the auction clearance rate again, that's pretty depressed, sitting at 38.7% last week. And interestingly, we're also seeing the number of new properties coming onto the market is diminishing, but the time taken to sell these properties is actually expanding, which is another feature of a market which is under some downward pressure. And then finally, during the week, financial commentator Christopher Joy has written an article scathing in the response about the performance of the RBA. He has said that Australian consumers are now more sensitive than any time in history to cash rate increases. And we can see here that consumer confidence is now down or tracking towards pre-pandemic levels. So financial market confidence, that is on par with pre-pandemic levels as well. And household income to debt ratio is now 135% higher than it was when interest rate or the cash rate was being lifted as quickly as it is back in 1994. Mr. Joy is very concerned that the RBA is gonna over egg or push too far lifting the cash rate, sending the property market into a complete tailspin. And at some point they are gonna be forced to actually cut the cash rate. Now, interestingly, for the first time, this week, the futures market around the cash rate saw the cash rate peaking at 3.505% in June next year before the cash rate would actually be cut in July moving forward to close out 2023. So there is no question we are in a volatile environment. The next six to 12 months, we've got to get our way through it. But we can tell you this, whenever you're a consumer, the key thing that we look for is everything on sale, be it going on a holiday, buying a car, buying clothes. And right now, some of the best property on the market is absolutely on sale. So pay attention. That's what's unfolding this week, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all next week.